design file fails. We've all been there. We've purchased a file online, downloaded it, unzipped it, brought it into Silhouette Studio, made the project, and it didn't turn out quite the way we wanted it. It's just happened to me. I grabbed a file from Creative Fabrica, and it wasn't a bad file per se. It just wasn't exactly what I was looking for. So instead of scrapping the file and spending hours looking for something that was a little bit better suited to what I was looking for, I fixed the parts that I didn't really care for and went from there. Silhouette Studio gives you all of the tools to do this. You just have to know which ones to use and when. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success, and I do hope that you're going to join our little community. We would absolutely love to have you. Now, as I mentioned, there are a lot of things to go over today, but you can do this. So I suggest you grab the file, follow along, and let's do this. I got this design from Creative Fabrica, and when I cut it out, there were a couple issues. The lines around the circles are very, very thin, and the letters are not crisp. So, I am going to show you how I recreated this design to make it exactly how I wanted it. I always like to start with the text elements first. You can do this in a couple of ways. You can click T on your keyboard and that brings up your cursor, then you just tap on your mat and you can start typing. You can also use your text tool over on the left hand side, click on that and then click on your mat. Let's grab all of these and fill them in with black. And now we can work on our font. The textile panel is on the right hand side, let's click on that and I want no talkie and coffee in Courier New, and I selected both of them at the same time by clicking on one, holding down my Shift key, and then clicking on the other. Now, I know that the font Star Bright is very similar to what they have here, so I'm going to click on that, and then choose Star Bright. You can also type that in the box up here. It's not exact, but it's close. The next thing I want to work on is the circles. I can create a circle by going over to my drawing tools, clicking on the ellipse. I'm going to hold down my shift key and then drag it out. That creates a perfect circle. In order to get just the outline of the circle, you'll need to create an offset. So we can click up here on the offset panel or down here, either one works. The object is selected, so we can go ahead and click on offset. And actually that looks like a decent thickness, so I'm going to select both of the objects, right click, and make a compound path. Let's fill that in with black as well and see how it compares size-wise. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Now we need to work on the outside circle. Same thing, you grab your ellipse, hold down the shift key, and pull that out. If we send that to the back, we can see how far off we are. Let's adjust that. Now we can pull that over here, select both of these elements, and use the center button. Now we need to create an offset for the larger circle. And I'm going to bring that down in size just a little bit, select both, right click, and make a compound path. Fill that in. And we're off to a good start here. I'm going to move the outer circle out of my way for a bit. We don't need that just yet. We're going to work on getting no talkie and coffee curved around the inside circle. The first thing we want to do is get this kind of scaled to size. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring coffee kind of close here and I'm going to select both and group them together so that they scale at the same rate. And now I'm going to pull this out until my A is just about the same size. That looks pretty good. We can ungroup 
double click on no talkie that's going to bring up our cursor and the grab handle here double click on that and pull it over and get it set in place now once i have it set up against the circle i see that there is entirely too much space in between my letters and i can fix that by going to the textile panel and adjusting the character spacing i'm going to bring that down 90 looks good then i'm going to adjust coffee as well and we can pull that up to the bottom i need this on the outside of the circle and i can use the slider to do that just pull that down a bit and i also need to use the slider on no talkie because it's too close to the circle so let's double click on that that looks better at this point we can right click on our text and convert to path same thing with coffee now this text is much crisper but it's also a bit thin i can fix that by creating an offset let's select no talkie open up our offset panel and bring that down 0 0.02 looks good but i want my corners squared so let's click on that and apply right click and group that together and we can create the offset for coffee the distance comes in the same but we need to click on the squared corners and apply right click and group now we can bring our outer circle back we can select the outer circle hold down our shift key select the inner circle and center select coffee bring that down just a bit and this is really starting to take shape let's get rid of these extra parts that we don't need to keep our page cleaned up right click and delete and we can move on to before now in the original design before is a little bit tilted and it crosses each one of the circles we can accomplish that by clicking on it using this green dot to just tip it a little bit now if we just scale it to size it's going to be too tall we can fix that by squishing it down a little bit we want to pay attention so that it doesn't get too distorted but this works out fine for this design i think that looks good the next step is to create an offset around before so let's select that and click on offset i want the offset to be a little bit larger so i'm going to adjust the distance here and click apply right click group that together select our inner circle select our outer circle subtract all now you can see that the circle has been cut away that's exactly what we wanted however let's delete that we wanted all of this gone and all of this gone we don't need these little bits and pieces in here so we can right click on group and then just get rid of the extras same for the inner circle right click ungroup select what we do not need and delete now we can set before right back in there at this point i'm going to select everything right click and group so that nothing moves around on us now we have this just the way we want it we do need to work on creating the little decorative bits and pieces so let's pull this off to the side and there are several different ways we can work on this i did bring this in as a png with auto trace on so if i go to the send panel everything already has cut lines there which means i can right click and release the compound path and everything will be separate and i can just snag these decorations and then we can get rid of all the rest of this right click and delete now if you zoom in on these shapes you can see that they are not very crisp and clean since this was an auto trace you can select it and just fill it with black instead of the png background 
Now when we zoom in, it looks much better. We can double click on it to bring up the editing points, click on simplify, and that'll give it a better cut. You can also create this shape with your drawing tools. You'll go over and grab a polygon, draw that out. You're going to take the slider. It's a little hard to see with the object being black, but you're going to take the slider here and pull it down to three so that you have a triangle. This red dot here allows you to turn the shape a bit. Then you can right click and convert that to path. Scale that down. This shape has four points, so we need four triangles. Let's go ahead and duplicate. This one we are going to right click and flip vertically. You need them to overlap. This one we are going to click on and take this green dot and turn it around. Set that into place. Or you can rotate it by going to your transform panel, selecting the third tab, and clicking on rotate to 90 degrees. Once it looks pretty symmetrical, you can select all of those triangles, right click, and weld them together. And this looks similar, but the interior points on this one are curved. They are not curved on this one. So let's double click to bring up the editing points, select each one of the interior curves, and we are going to click on smooth and make curve. We are getting closer. It's not exact, but it's pretty close. You can bring up the editing points again. You can move these around and you can adjust the curve by playing around with the blue squares. And that's pretty close. For the heart and the coffee bean, I'm just going to select them and fill them in with black. And of course, we're going to have to scale these down, but we'll work on that after we bring our design back on the mat. We're going to need three coffee beans, but let's start by getting this one scaled a bit. We can set those in place down here. They're a little bit large. I think that looks good. Now we'll need two hearts. I'm going to tilt this one just a bit this way. Right click and duplicate. Now I can right click and flip that horizontally and it will be tilted the other way. Now all that's left are these two little stars. We have one by the N and we can scale that down, but the N is very close to the B. That's still a little bit large, but all right, scale that down a little bit more, set it in place. Now let's work on no talking. We have to ungroup, select that, and start adjusting a little bit. We can move it over, but you can see that the N is very close to the inner circle now. The E is not, and we're not really any further away. So let's use the green dot to turn it just keep going back and forth and adjusting until you have it right. That looks better. Now we can duplicate the star, pull this one down here, and this one should be a little bit bigger. Now we can select all of that, right click and group. And I'm going to set all of my cut lines to black. Some of them are red and it's throwing the picture off there. So now we have recreated the design and fixed all of the issues that I was not happy with. I think we should cut it out. When I'm doing coffee mugs, I like for my design area to be right around three inches. We can just scale that right down. And I also like to do both sides of my mug. So I will duplicate, slide that over. I'll be using Oracle 651. Now we can get our mat loaded and run that through. Before I get the mat ready, I just wanted to do a quick rundown of the things that I will be using today. I have some StarCraft vinyl. I had to replace my huge roll of transfer tape. I'm so excited for this. 
standard white coffee mug and this is a new purchase as well we have our handy dandy scraper squeegee with the felt tip and a new mug cradle how awesome is that it's not going to roll around when i go to put the vinyl on it for this project i'm going to need just under four inches of vinyl so let's go ahead and get that cut and placed on the mat check the cut the center of the O came out perfectly I think we're good to go I told you you could do this. It's not super simple, but it is super rewarding to make your own designs in Silhouette Studio. Now, if you want to share your projects, ask all the questions, or just have a conversation with like-minded individuals, you're going to want to head over to the Book of Faces and join the Facebook group. You can find it under Silhouette Success, and I'll link it in the description below as well. I would love to see it over there. But in the meantime, go create something amazing, and I'll see you in the next video.